Here's a plane I recently designed. I'm calling it the Dual Slow Trainer since the two fuselages are from RC Test Flight's Slow Trainer design. I wanted to make a plane that was lightweight and had a large wing area so it could fly slowly and for a long time on a single battery pack. Today I flew for 30 minutes on a 2500 milliamp hour pack so I'm pretty happy with that. It has a 72 inch wing span with a little bit of dihedral on each side and the wing is made out of 6 millimeter Depron with carbon fiber spars for support. If we look under the wing here we can see the undercarriage of the plane. These are just 3 8 inch wood dowels for support of the fuselages. It's controlled in the back by two rudders and elevator all with 9 gram servos. This have a spectrum receiver, two uh, Exceed RC Optima 300 1360 kV motors spinning 8x4 props in the front, 25 amp ESCs. Um, overall I'm really happy with this plane. It flies slow, flies for a long time on a single battery. It doesn't handle that well but that's not what I was really looking for in this design. I wasn't too surprised. Um, overall I'm really happy with this plane. It was a lot of fun and I have some flight footage so enjoy. Here I am out for the main flight. You can see it has a lot of power. It easily gets itself up in the air and flying. I'm just really, really happy with how stable this plane is in the air. With that really wide fuselage and dihedral in the plane, it's really stable. Here you can see on the turn just how much control I have put in to get this plane turned. It doesn't want to turn that easily. It just wants to fly straight and slow. Here's a little pass just in front. Here I start trying to see, I want to see how slow I can fly this plane. Here I am, I take it up a little high and I am really laying back on the throttle. It's only about quarter throttle here and that plane's really, really happy. Here's just a low pass. You can see how that plane rocks back and forth, that dihedral and with all the weight below, just really tries to find its happy place. And so it can start rocking at times. Really happy with this plane. It's not the most fun <laughs> plane to fly, to be quite honest, but it, you know, this is an idea I really wanted to test out. And to fly it and to land it, I didn't really know how to catch it, so I just had to put it down and I broke it a little bit there. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe.